Scooter's on his way home to Utah today to get his car and on Joey has to work the next four days, which means for the next four days, all the way until Sunday, I'm on my own. But then we are here to play. Yay! God knows what I'm gonna get into. I know it may sound kind of funny and strange, but like even though Angelique's just my girlfriend and we don't even live together or anything, like whenever she leaves for more than one day, it feels like my family's going on vacation without me. I think that's a good sign. little adventure downtown today, uh, mostly to get drone shots for the beginning. This is probably my first or second day for this entire month of being in LA where I don't leave the next day. Not too sure how good you guys are with like your geography of Los Angeles, but Hollywood's about here. The beach is here and downtown is here. I always go, I usually spend most of my time from here to here, from Hollywood to the beach. I don't really go downtown. But for some reason this morning, I was like craving really sick city skylines and kind of like a New York feel. So I brought my skateboard and my drone and uh, I think we're gonna explore downtown a little. So a lot of people on Twitter and in comments on my YouTube videos have been asking me if I'm gonna review like all the new drones that have come out. Uh, in case you live under a rock, both GoPro and DJI released new drones this week, both of which are small enough to like fit in your back pocket. Nobody sent me any. <laughs> Everyone cry for me. actually has a lot to offer. Uh, one of my favorite places to hang out when I'm down here though is this place, Grand Central Market. It's an open air market of just tons of restaurants. It's really cool. Uh, here, let me show you around. This tiny little gourmet oyster bar. A bar in case you feel like drinking at 10 in the morning. Coffee to sober up from all the alcohol you just drank. China Cafe, chop suey chow mein. Random dude in the background. Seems to be some sort of grocery store. Mexican food, sushi, more fruit, and nothing but chicken. I have honestly no clue. It's not in English, but I have no clue. German sausage store playing techno. And like those other 50 restaurants that I'm gonna skip because made it to Egg Slut. No cheese on the pizza. I have absolutely no idea what I've gotten myself into. I have no idea what it is, but this. This little candle looking jar of egg. This is a slut. So like, as you guys know, whenever I'm traveling or in different cities or countries, like, my videos primarily are just about like my life, my adventures, and like all the experiences I go through. But whenever I get back to LA, I really like trying to give my videos a little bit of heart and soul. Like a message, something that I want to speak on, something I'm passionate about. Brings us to the main topic of today's video, and that's compassion. And I, I don't care what it is you're doing, because frankly, it's not any of my business to understand or accept it. But there's things that people do in life that we can't understand because it's not the way we would do it and it's not what we agree with and the way we see life. I think it's very healthy to have a dialogue about that and to exchange both viewpoints so that everyone can grow and kind of see the bigger picture. But when it comes down to making a judgment on someone based on something they do that you don't understand, I think that's where the human race really kind of falls into a rut. We're all different. We don't even understand our own brains, let alone each other's brains. And thirdly, it's our life. Like there is no like rules or defined happiness or like structure that you're supposed to spend your life doing. 
life is literally what you make it. So to cut to it, the big lesson here is don't try to judge other people. If someone's doing something that you don't understand but it doesn't hurt you, don't let it affect you. Don't even like share a viewpoint on it unless you're asked. You can, I mean, if you want to judge someone, by all means, that's you. Because I'm not going to judge you for wanting to judge other people because technically it's not any of my business. All I'll say is you'll find a lot more happiness in your life if you stop focusing on what other people are doing and focus on the things that make you happy and that you can do. Because if everyone did that, then we wouldn't have a problem. Sorry, the playground is only for the Kiha, sorry man. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. no worries. Yeah, the side right here, I'm sorry man. I think every single city should make playgrounds for adults. It makes sense, look. We're not like different than kids. We're kids grown up, and some of us don't even grow up that much. I've been to a ton of cities in the last couple months, and every major city that I've gone to has really nice parks, like parks with big trees and some water and places to like sit and quiet. And, just really nice parks. You have Central Park in New York, you have like the world's, even the world's smallest park in some of the parks me and Andre found in Portland. All of these cities have phenomenal parks. LA, we don't have any parks. We have the park across the street from my house and then we have this park here in downtown. So the park across the street from my house is, is just a lot of homeless people and a lot of people trying to sell you things so it's not that enjoyable to go hang out. This park is a lot of people doing crack and a lot of security and a lot of people who don't like tourists. The park in between the one near my house and the one here in downtown, the one right here in the middle is called, I think, MacArthur Park. And this is literally the park where every single murder mystery novel that my mom read growing up, it's where the murder took place. So, I mean, to cut it short, LA, where's our parks? Spend a little bit more time skating around downtown LA today, but to be honest, it is just way too freaking hot. Plus, my movie premiere starts in like two hours, so I'm gonna go home, hang out with my dog, take a shower, get dressed up so I actually look nice. Everyone at Casper's mirror was wearing suits, I was wearing a white t shirt. Hey guys. Get out there, get outside and go potty. Ollie's supposed to be told to go potty or he pees all over the floor. Hey Ollie, you're getting to be a- Oh, he peed everywhere. I touch Ollie, he doesn't pee, I say he's getting to be a big boy, I touch him again, he pees everywhere. I might be overdressed, but I never really get to dress up, so why the hell not? I have no idea which of these three shoes go with this outfit. I don't remember when I bought it, and I'm really not that color coordinated. FaceTime Angelique. Nope. FaceTime mom cell. Nope, no one answered. None of the women in my life answered. Neither Angelique nor my mom picked up their phone, so I could be making a huge mistake fashion-wise. I'm not really the best to know. Ryan Gosling would do it. These are all like... Hollywood TV actors that like I know I'm really glad I wore the suit Every single person here is in suits except for the two guys behind us <laughs> Poor Same guys uh, This place looks like an Eastern Europe sex book <laughs> It does, how sketchy is that? It's so good Have you ever seen the movie Hostel? It looks just like Hostel This is the try to hold in the front. You look like The Rock you look like a very skinny The Rock. Thanks, man. Oh, fuck. I was like, I was like thanks, man. Oh. I'm just saying I'm going bald. And yeah, I'm like joking. I have twig legs and no. arms and everything. They're tapered get... legs. Yeah. They're not twig legs, they're tapered legs. Uh -huh. okay. To fit the European suits. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. probably a genius hat for when you're flying the drone, too. Yeah. yeah. You can get your shape. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. Right, Have a good one.
I just met another gentleman who turns 80 next week and I met him because he was sitting watching me fly my drone for like 20 minutes when I landed it I went to tell him about the drone he was like no I got two I just don't know how to fly them very well and if I could find that kind of joy energy and happiness in my life when I'm almost 80 today is just a great day for meeting people